Hey guys, today we're servicing my 1983 VH Commodore. We're going to start with the motor, which is a 202 straight six Holden, and we're going to service the diff. Okay guys, so first step to this engine service, we're obviously going to drop the oil, then I'm going to change the oil filter, and uh, then we'll look at topping up. So just a little bit of a trick. When you're undoing your sump plug, if you can keep pressure pushing upwards on the thread as you unscrew it, you'll find you won't get the oil to start leaking out until you get right to the end of the thread. And if you're quick enough, you can get the thread out of the way without getting anything on your hands. Okay guys, so we've drained the oil, um, changed the filter, just about to refill it. I'm using Newlon 20W50. Really important when you change your engine oil, don't go cheap and out. Buy something good quality and look after your car properly. Okay, so we've finished the engine oil change, that's refilled. Now we're just going to change the coolant. I've already dropped the coolant out of the radiator and refitted the lower hose. Time to top it up. Okay guys, so with this diff, there's no drain plug. So to drain the oil out of it, you have to pull the rear cover off the diff. So we started by cleaning around the rear cover. You don't want any dirt from under the car to fall in while you've got the cover off. Um, next step is going to be to undo the uh, brake lines from their mounts as they're mounted onto the cover. Then we'll undo the rear cover, drain the oil into a clean drain tray. That's so that if there is any damage to the diff, we'll be able to tell what comes out of it. Okay guys, so as you can see, that's the rear cover plate removed. Um, now the next step is we're just going to have a quick inspection of the crown wheel and pinion for wear and the spider gears for wear, which are in here. Get under here and teach you something. When people do burnouts and spin one wheel, these little spider gears in here, that's what's responsible for only letting one wheel turn at a time, right? Right. Those two there, they're just on that pin. There's no bearing there because they're only meant to move slowly. Yep. So as you go around a corner, one wheel moves slightly faster than the other and they only sort of rotate about that much. You know? Right, Real yeah, slow. yeah, 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 yeah. Right? When you're doing a burnout and only one wheel's turning, if your speedo's telling you you're doing 60, the one wheel that's turning is doing 120. Right, right, right. These little spider gears in here with no bearings in them are spinning flat out <laughs> yeah. on a shaft with no bearings. And now because they're spinning faster than they're ever meant to, they've got no oil to them whatsoever because it's all flung off. Right. Which is why they melt and seize. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. Or just snap. Right. Disintegrate. So it's important to weld the diff before you... <laughs> Correct. The lesson here, kids, is weld the gears before you start. Then Borrow you your uncle's off. stick welder. <laughs> Don't take the cover plate off, just stick it through the inspection. <laughs> I knew a guy that did that. He's a guy just pulled the filler plug out and jammed an arc rod in there. <laughs> How did you even know what you were touching? I've had a quick look over them. Nothing seems too bad. It's only a quick look. Um, we're going to go ahead, clean that up, reseal the rear cover. Put that back on, refill the diff. Do it up till it snaps, then back it off half a turn, right? When you're doing it right and tidy and then it goes left and loose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that? Talk to spec. Okay guys, so it's time to fill up the diff. We're using Newlon 7590, which is a replacement for 80W90. Um, we're using it in an easy squeeze container, which basically eliminates the need for any sort of pump to get it into the diff. Really good, guys, for if you're working from home, saves a lot of mess, a lot of setup.
That was really easy. Okay guys, so we're done filling the diff and one of the main things I noticed is the size difference in the empty containers. So this is the easy squeeze and as you can see when you're done with it, squash is down to almost nothing. Right, if you're doing a lot of servicing, just working from home, you're going to fill up bins real quick with empty containers. The other thing is it eliminates the need for an oil pump, so you're saving dollars there as well. Yeah, okay, put that back in again. About that much. And that is the end of that. And that's how to service your 1983 VH Vacationer. That's a wrap. That's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs>